Hello, this is Abby from AliHolly.com. Welcome to part one of the Nurse Cat Amigurumi tutorial. This Nurse Cat is a part of my Everyday Heroes collection, which is inspired by a friend of mine who is a nurse and loves cats. I hope that this inspires you to make one for a nurse or a doctor in your life as well. If you prefer to just read a pattern, you can find the free pattern for this toy on my blog. It will be linked in the description box down below. This pattern is written in US crochet terminology, and in this video I will be showing you how to make the head, ears, and arms. If you are new to crochet, I highly recommend you watch my Crochet Basics and Amigurumi for Beginners videos before proceeding with this one. Anyway, let's get started. I will be using a 3.5mm crochet hook, Paintbox Yarns Cotton Erin in Mandarin Orange. This is a discontinued color so I'm just trying to use it up, but you can use any color you want for this. It's going to be the color of your cat. I've seen some people use gray yarn and their cats turned out adorable. A pair of scissors, a stitch marker, a darning needle, and some 6mm safety eyes matching backings. I'll also be using a lighter to melt the back of the eyes to secure the safety eyes a little bit more. And to push the melted plastic against, I'm using a pair of scissors. This part is completely optional, but it does help to secure your safety eyes completely. Let's get started on the head first. In round one, we will be making six single crochets into a magic circle. If you do not know how to make a magic circle, I have a tutorial on it and I'll link it in the description box down below. So, six single crochets into the magic circle. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull on the tail end to tighten the circle in the middle. For round two of the head, we will be increasing into each stitch. To increase, just make two single crochets into the same stitch. I like to place a stitch marker onto the first stitch of my round. Continue increasing into each stitch until you have a total of 12 stitches. In round three, we will be alternating between making one single crochet, then increasing in the next. Continue doing so until you have a total of 18 stitches. So one single crochet, increasing in that next stitch, then keep making one single crochet and then increasing. I'll meet you at the end of the round.
In round four, we will start off with making a single crochet, then increasing in the next, and then after that alternating between making one single crochet into the next two stitches, and then increasing until you get to the second to the last stitch. We'll be ending off the round with a single crochet for a total of 24 stitches. So here's our first single crochet. We're going to increase into the next stitch, and then make one single crochet into the next two stitches. So one, then two, and then increasing in that next one. Continue making two single crochet and increasing, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. For rounds 5 and 6, we will be making one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the two rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 6. In round 7, we'll be making 3 single crochets and then increasing. Repeat that 6 times for a total of 30 stitches. I will meet you at the end of round 7. For rounds 8 and 9, we will be making one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the two rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 9. In round 10, we will start off by making two single crochet, increasing, and then alternating between making four single crochets and then increasing. We'll be ending the round off with two single crochet for a total of 36 stitches. So after making two single crochet stitches and then increasing, we'll be making one, two, three, and four single crochet stitches before increasing. Continue working four single crochet and increasing until you get to the last two stitches. I'll meet you at the end of round 10.
In round 11, we will be making one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I will meet you at the end of round 11. In round 12, make 2 single crochet, then decrease, and then work 4 single crochet and decrease. Repeat that 5 times, and then end the round off with 2 single crochet for a total of 30 stitches. So 1 single crochet, 2, 3, 4, then decrease the next two stitches. Then repeat making four single crochet and then decreasing four more times until you get to the end. Pause here to continue working this round and I will meet you at the end of this round. Before we continue on to the next round, let's insert our safety eyes. Pull on the working end of the yarn and remove your hook so that it's out of the way. We'll be inserting our safety eyes between rows 7 and 8 with 4 to 5 stitches between the eyes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So between 7 and 8, just pop it in, then count four stitches from the first eye to find the position for the second eye. So that's one, two, three, four. Insert the second eye in, and then check to see if you're happy with the positioning of the eyes. Snap the backing in fully for both eyes. This part is completely optional, but if you want to make sure your eyes do not pop out, take your lighter and carefully melt the tip of the safety eyes. Then using a metal surface, I'm using my scissors. Press the melted part down. Please be careful when working with your lighter and make sure you do not burn your yarn when you're doing this. Now that our safety eyes are in, let's continue working round 13. In round 13, we will be alternating between making 3 single crochet and then decreasing. You should have a total of 24 stitches when you are done with this round. In round 14, we will make one single crochet, 
decrease and then alternate between making two single crochet and decreasing then ending with a single crochet you should have a total of 18 stitches when you are done with this round so decrease the next two stitches then we'll be making one single crochet into the next two stitches so that's two then decreasing the next two stitches continue working two single crochet and decreasing until you get to the last stitch I'll meet you at the end of round 14 Before finishing our final round, let's stuff the head. I like to use scrap yarn from previous projects when I stuff my amigurumi. Wrap the scrap yarn with stuffing before placing it into your toy. Stuff as much as you can without stretching the stitches out. We will also stuff the head a little bit more before closing the hole. In our final round, we will alternate between making one single crochet and decreasing all the way around until you have a total of 12 stitches. Cut the working end of your yarn and pull the hook up to fasten off. Remove your stitch marker and stuff the head a little bit more if you need to before we close the hole off. Thread the yarn tail onto your darning needle. Insert your needle through the front loops only of each stitch and pull on the yarn tail to close the hole when you are done. I have a more dedicated video tutorial on this if you want to have a closer look at how I did that and I will link that in the description box down below. Weave the tail under the center stitches and out the back. Snip the excess tail and squish the head around to hide the tail and to help with the shape of the head. Next, let's work on the ears. In round one, we will be making four single crochet into our magic circle. Pull on the tail to tighten the circle in the middle. In round two, we will make one single crochet then increase. Repeat that one more time until you have a total of six stitches.
you'll notice that the sides are trying to curl up. So just peel it back down with your fingers as you work. In round three, make one single crochet into each stitch. In round 4, make one single crochet, then increase. Do that a total of 3 times until you have a total of 9 stitches. Fasten off, making sure to leave a long enough tail for sewing. We will be sewing the opening of the ear shut to make it easier to sew onto the head as well. So make sure to account for that when cutting the yarn tail. Stuff the tail of the magic circle into the ear with the handle of your hook or a chopstick. Make one more ear and set them aside for later. Sew the opening of the ear shut by folding your ears down and inserting your hook underneath the stitches on both sides and pulling through. Continue sewing through the rest of your stitches this way. The last thing we will work on in this video is the arms. Start off by making 6 single crochet into a magic circle. In round 2, we will be making 1 single crochet then increasing. Repeat that for a total of three times. You should have a total of nine stitches when you are done. For rounds 3 to 6, make one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the next 4 rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 6. In round 7, make one single crochet, then decrease. Repeat that for a total of 3 times. You should have 6 stitches in your round when you are done. Thank you. 
For rounds 8 to 11, make one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the next 4 rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 11. Fasten off. Making sure to leave a long enough tail for sewing the opening shut and for sewing the arms onto the body later on. To stuff, fluff up your polyfill and then pack it lightly into the arm with a chopstick. Stuff the arm halfway up and make sure to not pack the polyfill in too tightly. Sew the opening of the arm shut the same way we did with the ears. Make one more arm after this. In the next video, we will be working on the legs and the body. Thank you so much for following along with this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!